Are subscriptions missing from the O365 admin portal and you're trying to sign up for Power BI and you can't? That's coming up. Hi, I'm Adam Saxon and welcome to Guy in the Cube. I was asked a question about why would subscriptions be missing from the O365 admin portal? This came up because a customer was trying to sign up for Power BI Pro and they noticed subscriptions wasn't there so they couldn't click on add subscription. In addition to that, when they went to powerbi.com and tried to sign up for the free Power BI offering, they got a message indicating that their IT admin had turned off the sign up ability for Power BI. This was the first time I had heard of that, so I went and dug in a little bit to see what was going on. It turns out that this is the behavior of what you'll get if you signed up for O365 through a syndicated partner. There are a lot of syndicated partners out there. So the one that I went through to try to repro this with was GoDaddy. So when you go to GoDaddy, you can actually sign up for O365 through GoDaddy. They offer a couple different options. One of them was Business Premium. So I went and signed up for that to see what it looked like. After signing up for that, when you go to the O365 admin portal, under billing, typically I would expect to see subscriptions and licenses. In this case, I only saw licenses. And under licenses, I would see the Office 365 Business Premium offering that I signed up for. So I tried to go sign up for the Power BI free offering through powerbi.com, and I got the message that the IT admin had turned off signups for Power BI. So there's two things going on here. One is the free offering, why can't I sign up for that? And that has to do with ad hoc subscriptions being enabled through Azure Active Directory for that tenant. By default, ad hoc subscriptions are turned off for a syndicated partner subscription. You can turn that on via Azure Active Directory through PowerShell. You can just issue the allow ad hoc subscriptions, set it to true, and you should be able to actually sign up for the Power BI free offering. If all you need is the free offering, you should be good to go with this. And that will allow you to continue to use Power BI as a free user. If you actually wanna sign up for Power BI Pro, there's a couple things that go with this. First is you can only do purchases for new subscriptions on that tenant through the syndicated partner that you signed up with. You can't go through the normal O365 admin portal and sign up for a new subscription. That's why you don't see subscriptions actually in the portal. Your syndicated partner may not offer Power BI Pro as part of their offerings. If they don't, you're gonna have to move off of that syndicated partner and either go through a direct offering like through Office 365 itself, or you'll have to sign up through one of the new cloud solution providers where the cloud solution providers, they actually will allow you to go through those normal ad subscription behaviors. So if you need to move off of that syndicated partner and through a direct offering so that you can sign up for Power BI Pro, it'll be a manual migration. So you'll have to move things manually yourself over from that one tenant to the other tenant. You can move your domain over. That's one thing you can call into Azure support and have them actually move that for you. But in terms of accounts, you may have to set up Dersync again. And also if there's any actual assets in that syndicated partner subscription that you have, like documents or anything like that, you'll have to manually move those over, unless there's a way that you can find to actually automate that behavior. It's not there by default though. Hopefully this will clear up why you don't see subscriptions within the O365 admin portal, and also just clear up what your options are. So if you need the free offering, you can go ahead and enable ad hoc subscriptions and go ahead and sign up for those. If you do need the pro offering, you'll need to get off of the syndicated partner if they don't offer Power BI Pro and move over to a cloud solution provider or through a direct offering via Office 365 Direct. I'd love to hear your comments. Go ahead and leave those down below. Let me know what you thought. Have you hit this issue? Are you actually okay with just using the free offering or do you actually need the pro offering? If this is your first time here, go ahead and subscribe. Every Tuesday, I take a look at a technical issue just like this, where it may be how to troubleshoot something, how something works, or take a look at a new feature. Every Thursday, I do an information roundup where I take a look at the last week and find the items that I thought were interesting and share those out with you. And really, this is about you. I wanna help you be more effective and successful in the work that you do. So go ahead and subscribe and be part of the conversation.